Janowski's lead has shrunk to the narrowest of margins. He now has just a half a point advantage over Phil Pfister, which means whoever completes the Atlas Stones with a better time will be this year's champion. And the seventh and final event, the Atlas Stones. As the world's strongest man, final concludes. Marius Pujanowski contemplating everything at stake. For Phil Pfister, this is his moment, but will it end as he planned? The Atlas Stones is the world's strongest man classic. Nearly 1,400 pounds of rock will need to be picked up and placed on their respective platforms. This is one where the entire body will be under duress. Slavic Toycek from Poland is already gone. He completed two stones in a time of 19.42 seconds. Ravis Vidzis, four stones in 35.70 seconds. That takes us to Sebastian Venta of Poland, one of the four Polish competitors here in the championship. He is going head to head with Tarmo Mit, the big man from Estonia. Boy, Kaz, with their height and their bulk, they should do very well at this event. They should, Todd. But it's rained all morning, and it's still raining during the event. One slip, and that stone's coming down. Well, only half points separate these men as they come into this event. Sebastian Venta currently sits in fifth place. Tarmo Mitt in sixth. And Mitt is just manhandling the stones. He just finished fourth. On to the fifth stone, which weighs 353 pounds. But here comes Sebastian Venta. Who gets it first? Tarmo Mitt just edges out. Sebastian Venta. A great show of camaraderie and sportsmanship, and I think Kaz are just happy this journey is over. Could be. These are two great guys. Awesome strongmen. And Venta's got quite a future. He came down to the fifth stone with a potential spot on the podium. Tarmo Mitt reigns supreme. This is Yarek Dimmick on the left in the green, going head to head with Terry Hollins from England on the right. Hollins comes into this event in eighth place. Yarek Dimmick comes into it in seventh place. Not the final they wanted, but both men looking for redemption here at the Atlas Stones. Still raining, Todd. Slippery surface. Anything could happen. Remember, 75 seconds to complete the entire rack. That's five stones weighing in excess 220 to 353 pounds. If I was to make a prediction, Todd, I'd always go with the big man. Yarek Dimmick, though, making quick work of 220. Both men now under 243. It's a tight race. Terry Holland's completed three, and he's now ahead of Yarek Dimmick, who slips on that third stone. Terry Holland's finishes the fourth. He is on the fifth and final stone. That's 353 pounds. On a dry day, Dimmick would toss this stone right on top of the platform. But look at the rain. <laughs> Terry's having a big laugh and a chat. As he slips with the stone, the water's too much. So Mother Nature, the only thing that can surpass Terry Hollins, unable to get that fifth stone up. Yarek Dimmick's thinking, no, I'm not even gonna try. Well, yes, I am. One more effort for Yarek Dimmick and one more effort for Terry Hollins, and they've decided now there's just too much moisture. We're done. So Terry Hollins credited with four stones in a time of 25.35 seconds. Yarek Dimmick, two stones, 12.78 seconds. Terry Hollins with an easy work on the fourth stone. He tries the fifth, and he just gives up. It's too slippery with the water on it. Before we determine our champion, there's a battle for the final spot on the podium. Grenada's Mark Felix is in fourth place after six events. Mark's long arms and that mega back should help him. American Don Pope is in third place. If there was any yeah, doubt, Don and Phil have shown Americans are again players on the world stage. These guys, along with Jesse Morundi, are leading the American resurgence. Let's see if they can finish the deal. This is for a spot on the world's strongest man podium for third place. Mark Felix in the maroon, Don Pope in the light blue. Nice picks by Pope. Right up on the platform with ease. Don Pope ahead at the third stone, 265 pounds. He's got a slight edge over Mark Felix. He slows down now, Kaz. There is moisture out there. He's taking his time to make sure that the grip keeps the stone with him. 
We are down to the fifth and final stone, 353 pounds at stake, a spot on the podium for third place. One thought right here, right now, get ready and do it. Once you've dropped it though, it opens the door for Felix. He's gluing in to get ready for one last shot. Don Pope taking his time, reapplying some adhesive, going for this last massive stone, 353 pounds. Both men look determined. This is gonna be one final attempt. He's got it, Don Pope's got it up and in. At 34 years of age, Don Pope may have just had his greatest moment. He will be on the podium at the World's Strongest Man. Mark Felix currently sits in fourth place. But for Don Pope, a time of just over one minute and eight seconds puts him on the podium at the World's Strongest Man. America Don Pope came a long way from Ohio. He wasn't about to quit. With true determination, he regripped and got it done. Now to crown a champion, Marius Kujanowski, winner of three of the last four titles, is the overall leader. It's been a long time since someone has taken Marius to the limit. We'll see how he responds. Is Phil Fister the man to end the 24 years of futility by the U.S.? Phil is as prepared as he can be. He's trained his whole life for this moment. It's simple. The winner of this heat will be the world's strongest man. It's important to get off to a quick start. Remember the conditions, a wet surface. The stones are soaked also. Quite possibly two of the best in the world at this event. Phil Fister and Marius Pujanowski on the line, the title of the world's strongest man. And right now, Fister has a slight advantage. Now Marius is pulling almost dead even with him. It is going to come down to the final stone. 353 pounds to decide the winner. And it's Fister. American Phil Fister has done it. He has won the title of the world's yeah! strongest man. Marius Pujanowski can only look on disgust yes! and think what could have been. It was practically a dead heat through four stones, but on the fifth and final stone, there was no doubt Phil Fister got the job done. The new champ. So the final results in the Atlas Stones, it is Phil Fister getting the monumental victory, followed by Tarmo Mitz, Sebastian Venta, Don Pope, and Marius Pujanowski in fifth. Felix, Hollins, Vizis, Dimmick, and Tojcik round out the 10. The overall placings, American Phil Fister wins the World's Strongest Man title with 61 points. Marius Pujanowski will have to settle for second. And a great performance by the other American, Don Pope. He finishes in third. Now to the moment that Phil Fister will never forget to present the World's Strongest Man trophy, it's Metrics event manager, Teresa Hartle. Phil, so on behalf of that first, congratulations for bringing it home to the Americans. A day the American fans have waited for for more than 24 years, not since the day of Bill Kazmaier's domination have the Americans brought home the trophy. With the stakes at their absolute highest, Phil Fister stood up and stared down the reigning champ. Phil arrived in China as just another American hopeful, but he'll leave as the world's strongest man. Yeah!